Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com after two years in Stockholm. Look who I got next to me. Yeehaw. Hello, everybody. Mwah. Greetings from Fritz. Finland. Yeah. Yeah. Greetings from Turku. Yes. Hosting the show this year again. Yes. We got uh, with her red, amazing I dressed dress. down for the occasion. Yeah. <laughs> we pre noticed that six dr- dress yeah, changes, yeah, I think. Yeah. Why is it so? What did you got so many? Uh, I always do that. It's my thing, and I love it. And I think it's fun, and it, you know, because that's a part of Eurovision, you know, like it needs to be glitter and glamour and outfit changes, show. So, um, yeah. I'm going to ask you, Chris, that you've been doing a lot since yeah. Malmö 2013. Yeah. You've been in Melody Festival and twice. Mm-hmm. Um, Finland changed the selection system yeah. again. Yeah. What do you think so far? of how the UMK is being uh, produced. For yeah, but I think times. it's that we've been very brave. We've been trying out different things. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's good. Changes are always good. And um, I think the UMK show looks better every year. So something we're doing right. But um, yeah, overall, change is good. We'll see what happens next year. Nobody knows yet. That's <laughs> what my question was going to be from. Would yeah. you accept the invitation from Ule to represent Finland in Eurovision again? Um, yeah, you know what? Because I love your vision so much. So if I would have a good song, I would say yes. Okay. Yeah. So did you feel like with Faller and um, Snurra Minjör yeah. um, were good enough to represent Sweden? Or no, Finland? but that, because uh, my my thought was with your Melody Festival, and the thought was never that I was going to go there to win to represent Sweden, because I knew that's not possible, because I'm Finnish. I really wanted to do Melody Festival, and A, because I love Melody Festival since yeah. I was a kid, yep. and and for number two, I just wanted to get over there to get more fans, you know, gigs in Sweden, and just you know, like, do more Eurovision stuff. Actually, pretty, per- pretty both performances were yeah. really elaborated with the dancers, yeah. and yeah. Like, it was like the different concept concept actually from the first to the second time yeah but I think I, I'm really proud of the numbers I thought they were really good yeah. but I knew that I was not going to win I really hoped that I would make it you know further in the competition mm-hmm. but unfortunately I didn't but you well, never know what happens in the future girl you keep producing pr- keep yeah. producing stuff that mm-hmm. doesn't mean anything actually yeah. that means that you are a host in Finland you're a singer in Finland and you're still doing great actually yes. so um, that we'll keep our fingers crossed maybe you're coming back with n- yeah never you never know. know never know what, is, <laughs> what are you up to for the last uh, few uh, weeks or uh, so now we uh, all my time has gone through this because I've been you know writing the opening act and the interval act and then we've been rehearsing and everything so it's taken a lot of time so after this the next focus is uh, Tel Aviv in May, oh, so I'm going to go there. there, go uh, there, yeah, working. But uh, let's not talk about what I'm going to do there yet. <laughs> okay. But I will come there um, okay. for sure. So, and then I'm going to be writing music and doing performances and stuff like that. See you next week in Stockholm on Friday. I'm going to perform there. So, see you next week in Stockholm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. And also. Um, Dörde uh, is representing Finland this time. Yeah. Uh, you represented Finland in the past. Uh, what's your advice to him? Oh, he, he's so experienced. So my only advice is just like, uh, enjoy it, have fun, make the most out of it. That's the most important thing. And last but not least, last yeah. question. Uh, yeah. Do you think, is there a formula? Because a lot of different songs won throughout the years. So you yeah. have some contests, Neta, Salvador Sobral, yeah. uh, Emily DeForest, uh, yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. Do you think there is a formula or something in common that these, all these songs have in order to win, like make them stood out from the rest? Mm-hmm. Well, that's really hard because uh, you can never know because you don't know what the other countries send. So how to stick out? That's hard to say. But the thing is that you need a really good song with a great chorus and the show needs to be somehow amazing or like uh, very unique or something like that so it's really you need to have the whole thing the whole package that's not so easy yeah it's not definitely <laughs> easy but that way i think for sure they will be putting us through a uh, good show with all the three performances i'm sure of that i know that yeah. Risa, <laughs> yeah. it was so nice seeing you again nice you. uh congratulations nice. on your um, work and all your things you. that you're doing i hope Thank to you. see you again next week in stockholm yeah. or maybe in the future we we'll see you there of yeah. course many times whole life <laughs> Woo. Yes. España, cerveza. Yes, viva España. Buenas tardes, España. Al fin un idioma que hablo con fluidez. <laughs> Thank you very much, Krista. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. See you. <laughs>